baby, what are you doing? Put down the dishes, I'll do them later, and go lie down. Okay, I guess I'm just going to have to lift you up. Oh. And carry you to bed myself. Because there's... Hold on. Let's get comfortable at first. We're going to be here a while. Because there's absolutely no reason for you to be doing dishes when you're in this much pain. I know you feel useless when it's like this, but forcing yourself to do things isn't going to make it better. You need to focus on recovering. Oh, baby. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. It's terrible. But again, you pushing yourself to the point of exhaustion is not going to help. I'm unfortunately very familiar with stomach pain, and you really have to take care of it instead of making yourself do things, even though you hate laying around. Oh, baby. Come here. Oh. Hey. Oh, no. Come here. It's really bad, isn't it? Oh. You know, you really have to start telling me. I mean, I, I knew it was hurting you, but I didn't know it was this bad. <laughs> Darling, when you're curled up, almost crying from the pain, yeah, I'd say that's pretty bad. I need you to take care of yourself. Because you don't take care of yourself. And I really can't imagine... Just... I really need you to take care of yourself and be good to yourself. Because you would not expect anyone else who is in this much pain to do the things you're doing. You need to be kind to yourself. Let me ask you something. If I was in this much pain, if my stomach was like this, and I was doubled over trying not to pass out, would you really be okay with me trying to force myself to do things? You absolutely would not. And it's no different. You just aren't very kind to yourself. Baby, look at you. Honestly, really, truly think about what you would say to someone if they were in the condition you were in. You would not be expecting them to do all this stuff. I know you like to push yourself, but you really, really need to stop. Oh, come here. How about you close your eyes and I rub your tummy? <laughs> yes, really. Here, lift up your shirt a bit. There we go. Let's see? Now, doesn't that feel nice? I know, it's like when someone's head is hurting. Even though it doesn't actually help the headache, it kind of feels nice to have someone running their hands over the spot where it hurts. Just feel my fingers slowly dragging up over your belly button. 
right between your ribs and then back down, going into a big circle. <laughs> you know, I just realized my hand is so big. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> there, how's that? moving it up and down. How does that feel? Mm. See, you just need to let me take care of you. Even if that means picking you up and <laughs> throwing you into bed so that I can rub your tummy. <laughs> oh, come on. You're basically a cat anyways. <laughs> Oh, cats do love their tummies rubbed. They do too. I had a cat who would just, I'd be sitting out on the porch swing. He'd come walking up, climb on, lay down and roll over and just have me rub his stomach. He literally fell asleep like that once. And I stayed out there for an hour rubbing his tummy because, well, I mean, you can't just wake a cat up. <laughs> you cannot... <laughs> That would be so mean. <laughs> Besides, he was too cute. I mean, you know, you're cute too, but I think he was cuter. <laughs> I'm kidding. You know I think you're the cutest. And that's why I'm going to rub your belly for however long you need me to. <laughs> yes, you can fall asleep and I won't even move. I'll just stay here, caressing your stomach, making you feel better. Hmm. Did I ever tell you the story of when I woke up to a cat sitting on my face? Oh, this is a good one. Maybe this will distract you a bit. <laughs> So, yes, I'll keep rubbing your tummy. <laughs> so when I had adopted that new dog and he wasn't allowed inside, um, <laughs> he ended up getting attacked by a stray cat. Hey, it wasn't my choice. If I was able to, I would have brought him inside, but we weren't allowed to bring dogs inside, and if I hadn't taken him, he would have been put down. So, But <laughs> anyways... He got attacked by a stray cat, and his nose was all busted up, and I didn't want it to happen again, so I ended up sleeping outside on the porch with him for a week and a half. <laughs> and one day, I woke up, and oh, the birds are awake. Lovely. <laughs> and I thought we were going to get some sleep. <laughs> Anyways, I woke up one day opened my eyes and I couldn't see anything and <laughs> there was a bunch of weight on me so <laughs> I reached up and felt something furry and there was literally a stray cat sleeping on top of my face like I was on my back and <laughs> somehow the cat decided that the best place in the world to sleep would be right on my face <laughs> and I don't know how it, how long I was like that <laughs> it was ridiculous well then I looked down and there were like two more stray cats one was on my stomach and the other was like down by my feet <laughs> no these ones were friendly I don't think they were the ones that attacked the dog yeah, that was one of the strangest ways I've woken up. <laughs> well, at least you're laughing a little bit. <laughs> well, now that the birds are awake, and I'm guessing we won't get much sleep now, because they are loud as hell, why don't we at least see if we can doze, and I'll keep 
rubbing your stomach and cuddling you as tight as I can. I don't mind at all. I never need an excuse to cuddle you. You know that. <laughs> all right, just close your eyes and we'll see if we can take your mind off the pain. <laughs> I love you. So, so much.